consider this the beginning of the end. Like now with, with reports like this that are coming out with the Ravens putting what they put on their website a couple days ago about the whole Chuck Clark and possibly being traded. Consider this the beginning of the end. And I don't say that to disrespect Chuck Clark at all. Uh, but when stuff keeps coming out like this, the player about 9.9 .9 times out of 10 never stays with the team. They don't. It just doesn't happen like that. Now, hey, if Chuck Clark stays with the Ravens, great. But me personally, my expectation is that li literally any day now, any day now, Chuck Clark will be traded. Let's read this report, though, because this report is like, oof. First, it starts off. The Ravens and Eagles discussed a trade for safety Chuck Clark during the draft, according to Adam Kaplan. Oh, okay. So, you know, the Eagles, they wanted Marcus Williams, but the Ravens outbid them for Marcus Williams. Like, okay, look at Ravens outbidding somebody, outbidding for somebody that's young and entering their prime. Check the Ravens out. But anyway, um, so that part was cool. That part, I was like, all right, okay. So, the Eagles are trying to get Chuck Clark. Okay, go to a new situation. All right, cool. But the back part was... Let's just read it. Um, Ravens showed interest in wide receiver Jalen Rager, but the talks died down. I said, oh. Ah, oh, man. I, and I, I mean, I was just talking to somebody about this the other day because um, they hit me up on Instagram. And I was just like, man. Um, they were like, what do you think about Jalen Rager? And I was like, ah, nah, I just... No, no, because they were like, the Eagles just got A.J. Brown. They already got Devontae Smith. I mean, if you want to give us Devontae Smith, hey, no problem. Hey, hey no problem, baby. I'm with that all day. But Jason Ray, ah, oh, no. And, and, and my guy was like, he was like, but, but, but wait, baby, but what about a change of scenery? A change of scenery could do wonders for him. And I was like, yeah, it could. It, it could. It really could. But uh, I don't know. If it's, I'll just be a little, little scared about that one, just a little bit. Um, so yeah, that, that was that. So, Hey, sooner or later, sooner or later, uh, Chuck Clark is, is, is going to be traded. Um, Jalen Rager, I, I think what really like, cause it got to the point, you know how, um, for some players, he, oh man, that player, he dropped the ball. Oh man. Oh man. He, oh, that had, oh. but I remember watching, I think it was last, was it the Eagles versus, it was the Eagles versus Bucks game. In the player, oh my gosh, man. I felt so bad for him, for Jalen Ray. I, I felt so bad because there were drops and it just it just looked like he was like just out of it. Like his mind was like completely removed from the game. And I, I just felt so bad for him as a player because and you just kept watching it over and over and over throughout that playoff game. And it was like, oh man. This this is rough. It is rough. And I felt like, man, I, I felt like he was going to be forced to have a change of scenery after that game. Because I thought at that point the Eagles might have been done with him. Because it, it, was, it was so sad to see too, man. Because it, it was not, and, and again, it wasn't, obviously, y'all know it ain't coming from a place, a place from hate on my end. going to be hating on nobody. But it just, it's like you're watching and it's like, Wow. He is just, he's really going through it right now in a bad way. Um, so, and not that that one playoff game defines him, because I don't feel like one playoff game defines a player. Uh, but just in that moment, it, it was just rough, man. It was rough. So, hey, maybe a change of scenery uh, would help him out, just give him a fresh start. But I would probably uh, rather the Ravens go to some other option. I mean, but, I mean, you you never know, man. If, if he did go to the Ravens, um... He would be the, the, the deep threat for the Ravens. Um, he would be their speedy wide receiver. Uh, and, oh, man, I was just in the spaces talking about this yesterday. Um, because I, I can understand both people, both sides' argument uh, when it comes to the Ravens and wide receivers. I know we've been talking about wide receivers for so long. Um, but with... Uh, I understand both sides, and the reason I say that is because I understand one side, because I was part of one side before, to where it's like, man, all right, well, I don't want the Ravens to sign nobody. We should just run with our guys. Our guys should show what we got. Our guys should be able to show themselves. 
Because it's based off of we, we, all guys got potential. They should show their potential. We should show we've been drafting all these receivers. Da, 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 da. They need to show what they got. And it's like, okay, yeah, because I, I, was, I was like that too. I was like, hey, Ravens just, they keep getting all these guys for a reason, right? Let them play. Let the young guys play. That's why Ravens never develop wide receivers because they never play them. But then there's another side. Where it's like, hey, we should still go out and trade for a significant wide receiver, somebody who's proven, somebody who's been that guy, whether trade, sign, whichever. We should go out and get more, make Lamar's job easier. And get and we should always be willing to upgrade the quality of the wide receivers, because that's usually something that the Ravens are kind of always like so so about. They'll upgrade the quality of the cornerbacks, they'll upgrade the quality of linebacks, they'll upgrade the quality of defensive line, upgrade quality of offensive line, upgrade quality of this, that, and the third. But with wide receivers, they usually like, ooh, yeah, I don't know. So my thing, okay, hey, and the timing, the timing is what makes this thing so tricky is because Lamar is never, ever, ever going to be cheaper than he is right now. And if you really are in win now mode, yeah, it's like, yeah, you do got some young guys at wide receiver. And hey, they got some potential too. But it never hurts to upgrade the quality of your wide receivers. Why not have more? The more the merrier. Like, hey, indefensible offense. But anyway, uh, with this deal not going through, I'm not mad. I, I'm not mad. Um, another report says that the Ravens actually, they approached the Eagles about it. So the Ravens were the ones that reached out. I didn't realize that. The Ravens were the ones that reached out to the Eagles about trading Chuck Clark. So the, that, that means the Ravens are shopping Chuck Clark. Chuck Clark is not going to be here. He's not. He's not. And I know there's a lot of Ravens fans that are on the fence about it. And I, again, I can understand both sides of that. So people are like, hey, we keep Chuck Clark. We should keep Chuck Clark. Uh, we got nice depth. Chuck Clark, he knows the defense. He's been calling the defense. Da -da -da -da. Smart player. Da -da -da -da. Chuck Clark, he been around the team. Good teammate, leader. Da -da -da -da. I get that. And depth. Oh, I get that. But, and then there's the other side. It's like, okay, bye, Chuck. See you, Chuck. Wish you well in future endeavors, Chuck. But, but all these reports are not coming out for no reason. Chuck Clark is going to be traded, uh, in my opinion. I feel I, I, it's just it's a matter of time now, man. It's a matter of time. I, I feel a, as sure as we're probably going to be live streaming later tonight for the schedule release. I'm as sure in that as Chuck Clark is in, in, in being traded. I don't think I said that right. My confidence in doing a live stream tonight for the, the schedule release and the official one because, yeah, I done seen every leak. I done seen all these different leaks, but I'm not getting excited over no schedule leaks because it's like, oh, uh, okay. Because I remember last year, um, a schedule leaked and it, it was, I think like two games were off though. Uh, but it, it wasn't a big deal. But this year, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just waiting. I keep seeing, oh, yeah, this schedule came out. Oh, it came out. Okay, cool. I'll wait till it's official. Then we'll talk about it. And then we'll get into it later tonight. But I'm my confidence in us streaming, doing a live stream tonight for the schedule release is the same amount of confidence I have in Chuck Clark being traded from the Baltimore Ravens. And both... With, with both, it's just a matter of time, in my opinion. Um, which and and e either way, even when you think about it too, like we talked about it, Ravens signed Marcus Williams, then they drafted Kyle Hamilton. So Chuck Clark knows, man. Ravens got their safeties of the next five years. They got their safeties for the next five years, well, at least four years, at least four years, and they could do the fifth year option. So. Ravens, they, they got stuff locked up there. And Chuck Clark, I think he got two years left on his deal. So he knows that he's not the future as safety for the Ravens. So it's like, all right, if I know I'm not the future, might as well get a head start now, right? And I'm sure Chuck wouldn't mind staying. But at the same time, mm, and I, I don't know how, I don't know his personal thoughts, obviously. Because I don't know Chuck Clark. But he could be thinking a couple different things. He could be thinking, hey, I don't mind staying, showing the, showing the young guy the ropes and whatnot. And I'm sure he would if he, he stayed. Um, but at the same time, it's like, oh, but this, this guy, I, I'm training him to take my job. He got drafted to replace me. So it's like, oh, okay, that's, uh, that'll do it. So he could also feel like, oh, you know what? 
They drafted him to replace me. You know what? No, 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 Ravens. Let's just let's just move forward now. Let, let's just get it over with now. Let, let, let's just let's just start the process now. So I can be on my way. He could do his thing for y'all. Hey, we had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful time. I appreciate y'all for everything. Thank you all for everything so much. Appreciate the opportunity. Love y'all, Ravens. I'll love you all forever. But it's time to go flap my wings somewhere else. Now, will that be with another bird like the Eagles? It ain't looking like it now, now that this came out. But this report, it lets it be known that Chuck Clark is on the move. So, like Chuck Clark is going to be eventually, again, in my opinion, but I, I have a really strong opinion about this. I'm very confident in this. But like Chuck Clark is probably going to be very soon when it comes to being with the Baltimore Ravens. I'm out.